Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June of this year, as I posted, Microsoft announced that starting in late 2023, they will no longer support Cortana in Windows as a standalone app. And as I posted back in August, and I'll leave that video down below, Microsoft had officially, around about the beginning of August, uh, started killing off and disabling the Cortana app on Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. So if you head to Cortana now, you'll see, as I've posted previously, that um, Cortana in Windows as a standalone app is deprecated. Now, just to let you know that with the recent optional updates that rolled out earlier this week on the 26th for Windows 10 and Windows 11, there is now an option to actually uninstall Cortana where previously, although Microsoft had deprecated the app, there was still no option to uninstall the app. So now, if you head back to your Start menu as an example, and you right-click on Cortana, finally, there is an uninstall option available. And that's one of the uh, two methods you can use. And if we head to our Settings, and this applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, if we head over to the Apps, Installed Apps list, you will see here... If we just scroll down to the relevant entry for Cortana and you click on the three dotted menu, the same applies. You can now uninstall Cortana where previously that was not the case. And as many of you would know, up until now, we would have to run commands and PowerShell scripts and so on to force uninstall the app because obviously it was not a default option. And finally now, um, after that deprecation with the recent uh, bug fix updates that rolled out earlier this week, that option now to officially uninstall Cortana from Windows 10 and Windows 11 is now available. And obviously, the reason why Microsoft has deprecated Cortana is because they have now made way and room for the new Windows Copilot, which obviously is a souped up version of Cortana on Windows uh, 11. And uh, if you are on Windows 10 and obviously um, on Windows 10, they, um, you are not receiving Windows Copilot, then if you head to the Edge browser, you will have the option to pin the sidebar, which I've posted in a previous video, which I'll leave down below. You can pin the sidebar to your Windows 10 uh, desktop as a standalone widget, and that will basically act as the Copilot on Windows 10 because Bing Chat, which is very similar to Copilot, the two are very similar at this stage. They are both web containers. Uh, that will act as your so-called co-pilot on Windows 10. But nonetheless, you are now able to uninstall Cortana on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.